Hey, what's up, everybody? This video is part of a series of videos dealing with personal finances and personal budgeting. I'm going to put this same intro at the beginning of each video. So one, if you've already watched the intro, you can go ahead and skip to today's topic. Two, if you see my clothes change or the nice virtual background change, uh, the reason will be because I recorded the rest of the video on a different day than I did this introductory video. So the point of this series is simply to do very quick hopefully two to five minute videos where we discuss a lot of topics dealing with personal budgeting and personal finances. So I'm going to record all of these. I have probably over 20 ideas for these really short videos. I'm going to release one a day over the next three to five weeks. And if there's a topic that you want to hear about, please go ahead and post it in the comments. Maybe it's one that I have coming up and then I'll release that one in the future. Or perhaps it's something that I haven't talked about or thought about on my list, and I can address that as I continue the series. So without any uh, further comments, let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. Today's topic is why you need a fund money category or a spend without question category. This is in our budget, we call it his and hers. We don't really get on each other for whatever is spent out of this category. And I think it is one of the most critical categories. I did a video on recently on your buffer category and why it's critical to the fact that you're going to keep budgeting and not give up. This fund money budget category is just as important uh, if you're single and if you're married, it becomes maybe even more important there as well. But it is critical. A quick side note, I removed the virtual background for this video. The only reason why I've been using that is we moved recently and my video, my home office, as you can see, is very plain, very boring. There's nothing hanging up yet on the walls. There's no bookshelf yet. We, we have plans to do that, but we haven't been able to get to it yet. And I just made the decision that I felt like the virtual background looked better than just staring at a plain white wall behind me. So hopefully that hasn't annoyed you that there's a, a fake office behind me while using the virtual background. But I did remove that for this particular video. Uh, let me know if uh, if you want to just keep staring at the white wall or if you'd rather see the fun, exotic places that are in the fake virtual background. Back to the fun money category. And this is critical because if you don't have a category where you can have fun in using your money, then you're very quickly going to give up on this. If your budget consists solely of paying your bills, paying your rent, your mortgage, paying your taxes, then you're very quickly going to lose interest in this. You have to be able to have fun as well. And honestly, not just in keeping the budgeting going and being able to stick with budgeting, because if you don't stick with the budgeting and tracking your budget, then you're never going to reach your financial goals. So that is critical. But also, just because life should be fun, you should have things in life that you enjoy. There is no reason why your budget has to be a limiting piece. Now, we've mentioned this in other videos. That is not what budgeting is. Budgeting is to bring contentment, satisfaction, joy to your life. It is to help you reach your financial goals. This is a positive thing. It is your priorities that you are setting. It's not someone else coming in and telling you what you can't spend money on. So that's why the fun category is there. If you want to put a thousand dollars a month in your fund category and you have the ability to do that, go for it. If you make a million dollars a year and you want to put three thousand dollars in your fund category where no one asks any questions about it, you can just blow it on whatever you want, whether it's a dumb decision or not. Do it if you have the ability to do that. Right. That's not the point of this. The point of this is you have to build it in. Now, if you're not at that level, you need to build something in. I don't care if it's $10 a month. In fact, my wife and I, we started, I think when we first started our fun money category, we call it his and hers. Uh, the his and hers account was $10 a month, I think. Maybe, maybe 20. And it's worked its way up. It's $100 a month now for each of us. But in that very beginning, yeah, it was a small amount and there wasn't a whole lot you could do with it, but it was still there. It's critical because, again, that's money where uh, my wife can spend that money and I won't really question her on what she's spending on because it's in that category. And I know that all of our needs are covered because we're doing the budget this way. And then in my category, I'm able to, to use that money for whatever I want. Mine usually ends up accumulating over time, and then I'll spend it on bigger purchases. Uh, my wife usually spends it on smaller things kind of as she goes and keeps it more around the zero mark, whereas, again, like I said, mine, mine builds up and I spend it less frequently on bigger items. The key, though, is it's there. We're allowed to spend it. We know we're free to spend it, and we're able to enjoy it. 
and it brings that level to us. If again, if everything was just, you can't do this, you can't do that. You got to do the things that are necessities like your electric bill. That would be no way to live. It wouldn't be fun. And so you've, you've got to have this piece in your budget, stick it in there, make it as much as you possibly can. Make this category as high as you're able to while still meeting your financial goals and paying your bills and keeping a roof over your head, clothes on your back, and food on the table. My name is Brad. I'm with Wooten CPA. My goal is to bring peace to your tax and accounting responsibilities. One of the ways I do that is through these videos here on YouTube. Please like this video, share this video for others to see, and subscribe to the channel if you would. That way you're also notified when new videos come out. There will be over 20 in this series of personal finance and personal budgeting that I'm going to try to keep in that two to five minute window. So they'll be easy to digest for you. Uh, hopefully that they're, they are helpful for you. And I appreciate you watching the videos.